Hey, welcome to the Fuzzy Love Podcast, where uh, two shitheads talk about what's going on in nerd and pop culture. I'm Scott. That's Matt. Matt. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that was like the fastest intro I ever did. Um, what, do you, what did you want to talk about first? Do you want to talk about Ghostbusters first? Or do you want to talk about the itty bitty news? Let's talk about the itty bitty news first, because right. I have a feeling we're going to talk about Ghostbusters for a little while. Yeah, probably. Probably more if we had other people, but we tried. <clears throat> yeah. It didn't work out. All right. So, uh, is this little celebration for the small company uh, called Lucasfilm. You know, it's called Star Wars Celebration. It was just going on this past week and... In London. And stuff. Uh, some stuff was announced. So, first off, uh, I'm going to start with what I think will get people's panties in a bunch. Uh, Rogue One, a Star Wars story, is not going to have an opening crawl, says Kathleen Kennedy. I don't... Who cares? It's just, it's something that's happened in front of, I mean, it's even happened in front of the Clone Wars movies, the animated movies. Oh, yeah. Those even had opening crawls. Well. So this is a, that's kind of a big statement that to them this isn't a main series movie. I mean, I, I'm a Star Wars fan. I'm not like a hardcore, get my, Star Wars gets my dick hard yeah. fan, but who cares? <laughs> I don't care. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know. I'd, I'd like to ask a super hardcore Star Wars fan if for this non-main series movie if it matters that much to them. Because to well, me, it doesn't matter. What's funny is a lot of people, uh, like that kind of thing where you have to set up the movie with text beforehand is kind of seen as a, like a really bad practice a <laughs> that you are actually bad at storytelling. And I think people have let it slide with Star Wars because that's how it's been since the beginning. But... If they're telling the story right and everything's filled in, then it, I guess, it doesn't really matter. Also, for like this movie, do we need a crawl? Like it, we know it just it takes place before episode four. Like there's nothing. Like we know everything that's like happened up to this point already. We've seen mm-hmm. it all. We don't really need like a refresher. You know? Yeah. That's fine. We know what the Empire is in power. They're going to take them out. That's it. Yeah. We don't need any more context. No, I, I agree. I just think I think some people will get upset by this, but who knows? Maybe nobody will care. I'll get, I'll ask a hardcore Star Wars fan, and I'll report back on next week's episode of the podcast. Sounds great. All right. Uh, other things that we saw, we saw the teaser poster, which showed off like a battle on a beach with the stormtroopers and the rebels, and then you saw like the ominous Death Star in the background. It's a really cool looking poster. If I would. Oh man, I'd pay, I'd pay some money for that to put it on your wall and frame it. Yeah, for like an eleven cool. by seventeen poster, yeah. that'd be pretty sweet. Um, <clears throat> the other thing they showed off seventeen. That's typical poster size. That seems really small. It's basically two pieces of paper stacked sideways. It's normal poster size. I thought a poster size was much bigger than that. That's standard poster size. That seems so in the small. U.S. at least. Seventeen inches is like nothing. Yeah. Like, this is probably more than 17 inches. That's a little over two feet, yeah. Great audio 17 inch, 17 inches isn't over two feet. 17 inches is... I mean, is, of, uh, yeah. That's a too foot small. And a half. Whatever. That's like a poster for, like, a band playing. That's a, movie a normal poster, poster size. Well, yeah, a movie, po- a movie poster is probably double that. That's what I'm saying. You'd want a, a movie poster size in that, right? Meh. That's so small. I got small walls, man. Oh, dude. All right. I'm living a terrible life. Okay. The other thing they showed off was they showed off the, uh, whatever you want to call it, costume for the, uh, they call them beach troopers. I don't know if you saw that. Mm -hmm. Looks pretty rad. It's all like sandy and kind of beat up looking and it looks a little bit, it's like a little bit more angular rather than like rounded. All right. Cool. I'll have to check it out. I can't because I don't have any internet service. That sucks. So I can't bring up my phone to look at it. Um, and then they also announced that part of the movie will take place on... I'm just going to pronounce it as Jada. I have no idea how they actually are going to pronounce it. So it's basically... It's a planet that is dedicated to... It's like a religious site for the Jedi religion. Mm. So for both people that are Force-sensitive and non-Force-sensitive, it's kind of like Mecca. Um, and that's where we get introduced to Zhang Wen and Dan, Donnie Yen their characters uh, are living on that planet and are part of this Jedi religion and are, I'm assuming, uh, trained fighters because that's in the trailer we see one of them 
fighting with sticks yeah, and stuff. Yeah. Um, and they get pulled into this because Jin Urso ends up there and the stormtroopers are chasing her. So that provides some explanation for that. Um, and what was really cool about this is uh, Gareth Edwards was talking about how when they shot those scenes, they constructed it a 360 degree set. So like a full encapsulating set in Pinewood Studio. And instead of having like directions for the extras, they literally had them like, okay, you know, y- y- here's a bunch of shit, like props. There's food to cook. There's tents to set up. Just do that in the background while we're recording. Do and like act freely. And even everybody in the crew was also dressed up in character. So like uh, the only people that weren't were the cameramen because obviously you couldn't see them from where right. they were shooting. But like everybody that was there for the filming of that scene is in that scene. I think cool. that's a really cool idea that's, that I yeah. don't know has ever been done in a movie. I'm excited for Rogue One the more I hear about it. Like. It sounds cool because they they said they're exploring the background of like the importance of the Jedi. And at this point, um, he said, you know, like epi- or episode, new A New Hope is kind of like Luke is Jesus for all intents and purposes. Um, and this is kind of like Judaism before Jesus arrived mm. where it's like, here are these people that are being persecuted and all this stuff and they're still strong in this belief and then they have like their savior comes out of nowhere and it's like that is I really see. cool pretty interesting yeah and that's about it for the star wars new i mean you said something about rebels well, but I don't admiral know Th- grand admiral thrawn yeah who for hardcore nerds that is like ugh, super cool because that's part of the like the legends expanded canon stuff yeah uh, he's gonna be in uh, season three of Rebels, so that so he's that like that's huge for uh, super Star Wars canon nerds because that means Thrawn is has been taken from Legends and brought over into the new main Star Wars canon, so people really like that a lot, and then um, they confirmed Alden Ehrenreich as uh, young Han Solo, which everyone already knew. Yeah. Otherwise, we got no title for episode eight. We've got no like plans for future movies. That's that's it. Yeah, which is kind of a bummer. But at the same time, I would rather them hold this stuff close to their chest than like announce it willy nilly and then have shit changed pretty frequently. You know, <clears throat> I like what they did with the Force Awakens, where it was like <laughs> we heard about it. We heard about it before it was really announced, but. They, like, announced it for real. They gave us a teaser trailer, like, all this stuff. Like, it was just, it was a build-up, rather than, like, hey, here's this thing that's going to happen 15 years from now. We'll let you know more later. It's like, okay. Well, but that's what Marvel does. Yeah, that's true. And then they swap everything around and move shit, add things. They used to be better about that, though, where it was like, okay, these are the next three movies that are coming out, because we're literally working on all three of them right now. Now it's like... Here's this movie that we haven't even casted anybody for or started working on a script. Don't even have and, a script. Yeah, and it's like, okay. We don't even have someone to write a script. Yeah, it's like, that's, that, I could say that too, is I'm gonna, here's this house that I'm never gonna have because I don't even have the mortgage or the down payment for it, but this is my house. It's In like, 2035. Yeah, yeah, it's like, it's my house. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dude, whatever. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Any other news that you want to talk about? Uh, you wanted to talk about, um, Marvel basically... Oh, kind of. They're doing a whole, like, Marvel Now thing, which is a bunch of new number ones and bullshit this fall. And I'm just like, just give it a fucking rest. Just, like, just keep your goddamn numbers. Yeah. I hate the new number ones all the time. It's like, ugh. It's it's almost exhausting where it's like, hey, we're doing a whole, like, it's like a a new relaunch Mm -hmm. every year. And it's like, it's unnecessary. I'm going to play devil's advocate because I see both sides. On one hand, the new number ones serve as a good spot for like somebody who's waiting to jump into the comics to jump in because the number one seems less scary than seeing like number 467. And it's like, what do I have to read, you know, all 466 before that? You know, um, so I understand why they do it, but at the same time, it does feel like they've done this. I think. Like, every year. I think my biggest problem with it is the way they go about it, where it's like, a whole new big relaunch thing, new status quo. And it's like, like you said, where it's like, maybe every year it's just like, this is the 
volume yeah, this vol- year, then mm-hmm. volume whatever the next year. But no, it's a new status quo, new changes, blah, 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 relaunch. And it's just like, it's it's exhausting the way they go about it. Mm-hmm. You know, if they change the way they did it, where it was just like every year, like these are the ones, it would be like one through 12, that's your volume one, and then it would continue again. But yeah, what I also feel like 12 issues is for a lot of stories, maybe not enough time to like fully mature and to like follow Sometimes, through the storyline. Yeah. I mean, some stories can be sh- much shorter, but there are some comics like, that need more time to breathe. Yeah, maybe they need to divide it up by like story. Mm-hmm. Be like, okay, well, this story is fourteen issues, yeah, or parts, and then once that story is finished, it'll be like, I I don't know, I don't work in the industry, so it's hard to say. It's a weird medium that is like kind of a mess, but yeah, I mean, it'd be like, it's like a TV series where you know the new season starts at this yeah. time every fall and these are the ep- the issues of the episodes yeah. within the season yeah yeah i don't know i'm not a scientist no i'm not a writer either so <laughs> or an editor or anything so okay on to the big boy topic yeah who are you going to call ghostbusters <laughs> All right, that's it. That's, <laughs> all, we, that's, all, that's all we can afford. Just yeah. stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you and I both saw the new Ghostbusters movie. I saw movie. it twice already. I only saw it once, but I would see it again. Yeah. So that's pr- it's pretty telling of my opinion of the movie. I mean, there's been a lot of stuff about this movie. We've talked about it quite mm-hmm. a bit. Um, and I don't understand what the whole problem was. It's actually a pretty good summer movie Out of, compared to a lot of the stuff that's come out this summer mm-hmm. this is really like way better than a lot of that yeah well and to me so my worry was that this was gonna be a good movie but not a good Ghostbusters movie if that makes sense like but watching this movie it absolutely fit like within what I would f- consider like the Ghostbusters like ethos Franchise. or whatever yeah like yeah. where it's like they have this mindset of it's it's a little like one part dark comedy, one part like action. Yeah, and it's like it all worked. It was yeah. all. I mean, for the most part, there were some spots where the jokes kind of fell flat, but that happened even in the original Ghostbusters. That happens in like a bunch of movies. Yeah, I mean, shit, that happened in Avengers: Age of Ultron with the uh, "Watch Your Mouth" or whatever that joke was that oh, they went language. Oh, God. Yeah, I was like, are we really doing this? <laughs> yeah. Um. No. Um. Yeah, I I don't know. Let's talk about things we liked first. What okay. did you? What are some of the things you really liked? Uh, the characters were all great. The chemistry was good. They the characters sort of fit the original archetype, but at the same time, were not just the same character but a female. They were slightly different. Yeah, but what I mean is Leslie like, Jones' character had way more to do than um, Ernie Hudson's in the original Ghostbusters. Yeah, but that's what I mean is we're like. They were sort of like the original archetype, but they were different. They were their own approach to them, and it wasn't just the same character, but a female. Yeah, which is what I was sort of worried about them doing. Was like literally just the same. Like they're character, playing but a this female. character. Yeah. They're playing this one, but no, that's not at all. They're all their own individual mm-hmm. character. Yeah, I um, I really like that. I saw it in three D. Uh, was that okay? Or it was bad? awesome. I actually okay. hate three D, but I saw this one. And what they do is they change the aspect ratio a little bit. So when you're watching it in 3D, it looks like the ghosts are actually coming off of the screen. Mm. So that's really cool. It was like, I, if there's any movie that's like kind of worth seeing in 3D, it would be this one. Okay. I'll keep that in mind because I might go see it again. Yeah. Um, other things that I liked, I really loved the homages to like the original movie where the... Uh, cameos for all the characters yeah, i heard some people complain that they thought the cameos were like uh too much too in your face and i'm just like no it seemed pretty like i liked it a lot yeah i mean they all made sense yeah they were all uh besides bill murray subtle enough dan Aykroyd was great oh god yeah you know yeah yeah i ain't afraid of no ghosts and they just like <laughs> I, was, I liked it a lot. Yeah. I thought they were fine. Even the state, they had, they had to put state puffed in there, of course. Mm-hmm. And yeah. people were fleep, flipping, flipping, flipping out because they thought it was going to be like just the plot of the original movie again. But it's like, no, they, they put these touches of like, uh, I suppose we should say it's mild spoilers. But anyways, like, it's a full spoiler. S- Slimer shows up 
and people were like, oh, there's a female Slimer, blah, blah, blah. It worked. It was funny. It worked in the context of what was going on. Yeah. yeah. It was... He's it, just he's just partying, steals their car, and... Yeah. Of course he'd go pick up a chick in the car. Exactly. And, like, the Stay Puft Marshmallow thing was a nice homage to the actual Stay Puft Marshmallow, but they didn't do that whole bit again. That right. wasn't the main bad. In yeah. fact, that was a, a fucking balloon. Right. You know? Yeah, because I, I, cause so after watching it again... The, this new one again last yesterday I watched the original last night so I could kind of compare things that are the same and yeah there are a lot of elements that are like parallel to each other but there's a lot of things that are different mm-hmm. this is almost this new one is almost more of like a real origin story yeah we're like the original like the the plotting is very because I mean it's also 30 years difference movies are made a lot differently now than they were 30 years ago where the the plotting in the original was very different from this one, or the original, they, they catch Slimer, and then they have this whole montage of them catching a bunch of ghosts and all this stuff, where that doesn't happen in this one. Mm-hmm. It's just, it's really, it's a lot slower paced. It's a more of a build-up. Yeah, I was going to say, the original Ghostbusters, to me, feels like they were planning a one-off movie. This feels like they were planning a, fran- a series or a yes. franchise. If you stayed for the after credit scene, mm-hmm. you know that, too. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, which I like, I think it's cool. I would like to, I'm actually, after leaving this one, I was like, I'm bring. I think a sequel could be even better than this one. I think they've got everything out of the way yeah. and they can just go into mm-hmm. fighting like demon fighting Gozer or whatever. Yeah. Um, so do you have any negatives? Cause I have a few things that sort of bothered me. Didn't make it like a bad movie. Once again, I, yeah. I think this is a good movie, entertaining movie. But. Um, I thought. I liked uh, Kate McKinnon in the movie. Her character was a little too much. Mm-hmm. Where like I'm fine with her being like wacky, but some things were just a little like eh, a little too much for me. So I hope they just tone it down just a little bit in future installments. Yeah. Um, some sh- editing things were like really weird. Like when they're when they're un- when they're like unpacking stuff and it cuts to that like whole like lip sync thing. I'm like. It was kind of jarring the way it just like goes right to that. Yeah, I'm sure that was one of your things too. Yeah, the editing in general for me was not great. Whoever edited the movie, somebody should have taken a second pass because there was a lot of uh, spots where there was too much space, and it just kind of felt like it was plodding along. Yeah, and then there was parts where like that where there was just, just random whoa. shit that it was like I went this, to a, went to that this spot didn't need to be fast. here. Like at the the end uh, end credits where you see like this was very clearly shot for the movie that they, and then they cut out and just decided to place in the credits. The where, dancing. The dance sequence. Yeah. And I was like, I'm glad they cut that because that would have been unnecessary. And but at the end of the movie, much. it's perfectly fine. Yeah, it was good for the, yeah. the critics. Yeah, that was, that was good. Um, going into the movie, I thought that like, you know, people were all like upset about Leslie Jones' character in the trailers and everything. Mm-hmm. But in the movie, I thought she was fine. She was one of my favorite parts of the whole movie. Yeah. I, I was worried was that great. she was going to be a little bit of like a caricature like a stereotype yeah, or, but she um, turned but out she, to be like one of the best characters yeah. I think probably my favorite in the whole movie she was funny and she held her own and um I don't know yeah villain was kind of weak yes but in the I, I did make a joke I was like oh so the villain in this is reddit yeah <laughs> <laughs> he's basically like you know one of those like nerd he's just wearing, missing his fedora or whatever yeah. you know and I thought that was kind of funny but I mean you know, the vil- the v- Here's the but thing the movie's is, not about the villain. Yeah, the movie's say, about the, the team. Here's the thing with movies of this type. I don't know if they're, the villain is ever great. No. The villain is just always like, okay, they serve only... They're basically like the MacGuffin. They're Kinda, only there yeah. to service the like core characters yeah, to move them along. Exactly. That's... um, Yeah, because this, this felt very like superhero movie-ish. Mm-hmm. And... uh. So yeah, that the villain was kind of yeah. He looked cool when he takes his final form, in yeah, the end, and he's like a giant kaiju ghost monster. Like that actually, the effects in this movie looked actually pretty. Sweet. When I loved how the ghosts, or like that ghost specifically, like it, it seriously looked like fabric, but like weird, like like the ectoplasm was kind of like part of yeah. the fabric like and when, stuff like, like that. Like when he steps like, on the oh, taxi so cool. or whatever yeah. and he comes up and, and it's, it's like, like a piece sticky. of it's like yeah. stuck to the, almost like uh, like a piece of like your sock got stuck mm-hmm. in something. Yeah, it was cool. I Seeing the effects, I I was also worried about the effects being not great. They were... Yeah, all, they were fine. They were yeah, awesome. They were all, Worked just fine for me. Um, 
what did you think of so like some of the sequences the jokes felt like bridesmaids to me whereas like that sort of thing where they're just trying to escalate quicker and quicker um did that stuff bother you or were you fine with that mm, I, I didn't guess i didn't really notice it that much okay i um the christian wig hitting on uh chris hemsworth thing got kind of old after a little bit but i it was fine. It was never bad. Chris Hemsworth was hilarious as a fucking oh idiot. Oh my god! Yes, he was. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was great. <laughs> when he's just like, ah, oh, so loud, and he like covers his eyes. Uh, yeah. Or when he like goes to hit his eye through his glasses, and like, uh, why are there no lenses? Like, ah, oh, they just kept getting dirty, so I took them off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everybody was laughing in the theater that I was in, and it was almost packed. I mean, it was almost sold out. It was pretty packed when I saw it. Um, and I yesterday saw- when I saw it Thursday night, it was like empty. Yeah. I saw it Friday. We saw it Friday morning. This was at like ten forty-five a.m. And, wow, and it was busy? packed. Yeah. Wow. So must be doing well. I'll have to check the box office numbers and see how I it's checked, doing. I checked um, yesterday, and it had I think a seventeen million for just Friday. Not bad. For just Friday, that's pretty good. Yeah. So. Yeah, I don't know. I I don't. I understand why some people wouldn't love this movie. I mean, it's not like spectacular, but it's but good. I, I really enjoy it. I don't it. understand how anybody hates this movie. Yeah, if you hate it. Especially if they liked the original Ghostbusters. And I was listening to some reviews, and some people really did hate it, and I was like, I don't understand your reasoning behind mm-hmm. hating this. Yeah. Like, there were issues with the movie. It wasn't perfect. Like we said, or like I said, the editing was kind of whatever, and there were some, there were some scenes and jokes that kind of didn't, didn't uh, pack the same punch as other jokes and other scenes, um, but for the most part, it was a pretty good movie. It was, you know, at the very least, I would recommend seeing it in theaters. Oh yeah, for sure. So it's like I don't especially, if, and I don't really like 3D, but this is one of the few movies I would recommend seeing in like IMAX 3D. Mm-hmm. And it's like I don't think it being an all girl cast ruined the movie. Didn't I don't matter. think it didn't. It I don't, didn't matter anything. One bit. I kind of wish, still wish that this was a continuation of the Ghostbusters series and not an origin story, but I understand why they did it this way yeah. because, um, I'm, I, I originally thought it, I wanted it to be a continuation, but now I'm kind of like, eh, kind of like a reboot reimagining. I'm like, that's, it's fine. It works okay. Yeah. I just wonder if it would have worked better if it was just a continuation and maybe like, you know, maybe it what happened. Harder, to the, it might have been harder to write that. But maybe what happened to them in this movie, where the the mayor was like playing them off as crazy people, maybe that happened to the original Ghostbusters. So well, everybody thought, well, well it's, not, not didn't really. The mayor like actually bailed them out of jail in the original Ghostbusters. But what I mean is like if if that was the canon that they went with was like after the Ghostbusters saved the world twice, then everybody kind of swept them under the rugs as crazies and like as pseudoscience. And then you had them. I think they were originally things. trying to make it a continuation, but mm-hmm. they just figured it worked better as a reboot. And I'm like, yeah, that's fine. And plus, now, now they've got a new a new story, a new franchise where they can move yeah. forward. Like, and plus, you deal with issues like Harold Ramis is dead. How do you continue the story? And yeah, without and, you know, and, and it's, I think that. it also it, if it was a continuation, you'd hear a lot more people complaining about. Oh, it ruined the franchise or whatever because it's a if, as a sequel, as a standalone, it's kind of like more fair for it to be like on its own. Yeah, I think I think it's the standalone aspect kind of gives it maybe less backlash, even though it got tons of backlash. Yeah, and Just it imagine was, how much it more it would get if it was it was actually a sequel. See, and in my head, I kind of see it as the opposite way. Maybe it might have gotten less backlash if it was a continuation, um, but. I don't, we will never know because that's no. not how it happened. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't know. <clears throat> so you guys should let us know what you think about the movie in the definitely comments want and on to Twitter. Hear what people think. because I am I. This is one of those movies that it baffles me in the opposite sense that Batman v Superman did. Where like I don't understand how anyone can hate this movie. I don't understand how anyone could love Batman v Superman, but there were people out there that did. Yeah, so, there are people out there that hate this movie. Yeah, so. and I'd love to know your opinion, and hopefully it's not a bigot opinion yeah. about them being all girls. Um, best best line in the whole movie, ain't no bitches gonna hunt no girls. <laughs> when they're reading YouTube comments, yeah. I was like, oh my god, that was so 
funny. It was great. Cause I was like, put that on the poster. I'm pretty sure those were pulled from from the uh, trailer. <laughs> Maybe. Or like the no, initial reaction. Too late. I don't know, man. They probably just knew that that was coming. Yeah, maybe. Because people were already probably saying that when the cast was announced. Yeah, so but that's what I mean. Is like that was probably that probably came from like early reactions yeah. to them being online. Oh no, no, I'm not not that one. <laughs> oh god, the best part was the in my or not the best part, but a really funny part was the uh, EVP thing where they're like, oh, we recorded this. Uh, and it's a fucking fart. <laughs> She's like, we. Would you feel better if I told you it came from the front? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, that was. It, I like. I really had a good time. Yeah. Watching it. So I'm excited to get the action figures when they come out next month for sure. Nice. The mini mate ones. The yeah. full size ones are already out, but. You yeah. already got those. No, I might just get the mini mate ones because those ones are more expensive and the big ones are more expensive and they take up more space and. Yeah. I want to get a, um, I want to get a big Stay Puft Marshmallow Man figure because I already have the original Ghostbuster Mini Mates, mm-hmm. so I can set them up, you know. Because like when I move, I want to get a nice like, kind of like a glass cabinet so they don't get all dusty and everything. And I want to set them up in situations so they're not just standing there on display. Uh, you're fantastic. Scott. I'm a super dork. That's fine. I'm also a super dork because after this, I'm gonna go catch some Pokemon and then play some D and D. So well, that's fine. I'm just gonna go. I have no internet, so I'm just gonna go cry. I'll just leave the house. Yeah. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Find someplace that has Wi-Fi, free Wi-Fi. Instead of my phone. Yeah. Because I don't have a laptop. Get a tablet. No, I'm just kidding. That's I have just a tablet, as bad as. But it doesn't really yeah, work. I was gonna say it's just as bad as. A I quit using it because, like, for some reason, it's like it doesn't turn on easily. So when the battery dies, you can't just plug it in and charge it and get it to turn on. So I'm just like, I'm just that's not gonna use this thing. Is it an Nexus Seven? Yeah, I got it if, like four years ago. Oh, almost. Geez. I bet you that thing is slow as heck now. I don't have no idea. I can't use it. It won't turn on. You can use it. You just gotta. It's just a really hard to get yeah. it to turn on for whatever reason. Well, you and this is nerd speak. You can plug it into your computer and force it on through ADB. I don't know what that is. Android debugging. Um, so you can command line. Yeah. Well, I don't have the that? internet, so I don't even know I can do that. You you can do it. It's all through command line. Oh well. It's all I don't nerd want stuff. To do any yeah. Of that stuff. It's. Do not concern yourself with the man behind the curtain. All right. I think that's it. I think, I think that's it. I don't yeah. know what else to say about Ghost Wars besides I liked it. And, you know, say how, no, however good, like, this movie is, it's important that it exists. Mm-hmm. Because it, we need a movie with, like, an all-female cast, you know, because people have someone that look, like, girls have someone to look up to that looked like them. That was Just like, like how we need a black superhero movie or like yeah. people of different races. We need someone for other people, for kids to like look up to and see them. Because forever, it's all been, you know, white guys. Yeah. Which is us. So everything's been for us. It's time that there are like characters out there that other people can look at too. Mm-hmm. That was something that uh, showed up on the Ghostbusters Reddit was the post, or there was a post saying, yeah, this movie really ruined these girls lives and it was a sarcastic post and it showed like a picture of Kirsten Wig and Melissa McCarthy signing like little girls and there's with, like, like one little packs. girl with yeah. just like the biggest yeah. smile on her and face it's like, that's who that movie is for exactly and it's a great movie for everybody else so it's a yeah and it's situation. just a fun movie overall although the- I don't know there was quite a few young kids there there was and a lot of the jokes will be over their head but uh, this was a very strong PG-13 movie like, there was a lot of... There's no F-bombs or No, anything. but there was a lot of innuendo. Like, a lot of really Yeah, dirty but it'd be over innuendo. their heads. And, you know, for them, it's just a cool action yeah. movie, you know. All right. I think that's it. So, with that, uh, you can find me everywhere online at Scotty Boy. With, that's BWO with four Ys. You can find me everywhere at Hagnerd, H-A-G-N-E-R-D. You can follow us on Twitter at Fuzzy Loaf. Uh, you can find us on the YouTubes by searching Fuzzy Loaf if you're listening to this on iTunes. And if you're listening to this on YouTube, you can find us on iTunes by searching Fuzzy Loaf. Click subscribe, give us a review, thumbs up, thumbs down. I don't know how iTunes works. Uh, star rating? iTunes is stars. Okay. 
do that, maybe. <laughs> uh, we got a comment from somebody saying that we should put timestamps in for the topics. Someone so, commented on something? Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, so I should start doing that. I should have done that while we were recording, but that would have been smarter than having to listen back and yeah, figure out exactly Yeah, do it while you're editing so. it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so with that, we'll smell you later. We're going. All right, whatever. <laughs>